Japan also has an issue with loneliness. In fact, they have a whole movement of people they call the Hikikomori. Hikikomori! Did I say that right? Hikikomori! I'd be Hikikomori! Except I run an anime convention for a living. Y'all! Y'all! The rise of the internet, right? Like, the rise of VTubers, specifically. Like, VTubers are like a Hikikomori dream, right? Like, you don't have to leave your house. Your job is to sit here and interact only on the internet. You could be whoever you want on the internet! Hikikomori! Hello YouTube, this is Charles the Destroyer. Today we're gonna watch some more Shoe on Head, uh, the male loneliness epidemic episode. I guess. <laughs> um, anyway, grab your snackies, grab your bevies, please do algorithmic interaction with me. Let me know what you're eating and are drinking down below. And, uh, that's not what I wanted. Let's, let's get to, let's get to what? I regret to inform you the me men are not okay. That's right, folks. The men are not okay. I don't, how long was it out? I like how she does her makeup. You're ordering Taco Bell? Nice, nice, nice. What I was saying is I like how she does her makeup and I can't do it like that. Nobody's okay is what I've decided. Just like nobody. Like nobody. Nobody is okay. <laughs> the men have no friends, no girlfriend, no college education, no money, are breaking their legs and inserting metal rods into their bones to be a few inches taller, and listening oh. to AI Batman help them overcome their... Photography addictions. You deserve real love. Turns out the society that was built by and allegedly for men has indeed let them down. Now you might be thinking, oh look, another boo-hoo poor men video by Shoe on Head. Yes. <laughs> and if you have a problem with that, tune into yes. literally anything else. Yay! Yay! Men are in a crisis and it seems nobody really cares. And the people who do care just seem like the people who want to sell them shit. Not me. I'm different. So this is entirely off the subject. That's my old mic. I used to use a blue Yeti. Exactly like that. Before we get into this, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. <laughs> is a monster? Today's sponsor is Holtzgern. Holtzkern oh, she looks cute! Look at her little outfit and her little glasses! And jewelry ...made from all natural materials. They're high-quality timepieces. <laughs> I'm sorry. She said all natural materials, but for some reason, the way she started saying it, it to my brain went, old mattresses! <laughs> Which then led me to personal confusion. <laughs> because... Yeah, everyone who talks to men about their problems are trying to sell something, but not her. She's different. Anyway, so this ad. Yeah, no, I heard it. <laughs> I, know, I don't know. It was just... It was just like my brain was like, old mattresses. And then I was like, how? <laughs> but no, it's all natural. <laughs> Come in various designs for both men and women. Make I'm going to skip the ad and be honest with you. I'm just going to skip it. It's a long ad. And thank you, the viewer, as always. Anyway, you could go to that website and, and shop. Yep. Always, we're not skipping the ad. Why are I skipped men and it. boys struggling? And what Why are men boys? I skipped it. I'm a terrible person. Hi. <laughs> should we do about it? A few new studies have come out that have shown that young men are more lonely and single than ever before. But it's not just men the women and children too. It's predicted 45% of women will be single and childless by 2030. But according to the media, this is a good thing. The economy is booming, as they say. And meanwhile, men being single What's a is economy? like this. New study explains why some single- What What's going on with that woman's face? What is she doing? Oh buddy, I'm going to hell for other reasons. It, skipping an ad is the least of my problems. Um, what is going on with this lady's face? What is she doing? Men 
are having a hard time finding a new partner. Some of the music that they listen to speaks very derogatory. Right. Yeah, man, stop listening to that derogatory music. Then maybe you won't be single. I don't know, I think men and women being single and lonely kind of shows there might be something wrong uh, with society. Perhaps we should address this, not just wave it off as empowering or pathetic. According to several different articles, I love how that's my source, I read about it on the internet, research shows mm -hmm. that people from individualist countries show a greater sense of loneliness. This is linked to socioeconomic development, increased education, a shift towards white collar jobs, and urbanization. Japan also has an issue with loneliness. In fact, they have a whole movement of people they call the Hikikomori. Hikikomori! Did I say that right? Hikikomori! I'd be Hikikomori! Except I run an anime convention for a living. Y'all, y'all, the rise of the internet, right? Like the rise of VTubers specifically. Like VTubers are like a hikikomori dream, right? Like you don't have to leave your house. Your job is to sit here and interact only on the internet. You could be whoever you want on the internet. Hikikomori. Basically, postmodern hermits, mostly young men who completely withdraw from society, secluding themselves mm. in their rooms for months and years at a time. In 2010, yeah. there was an estimated 700,000 hikikomori in Japan, and today it's estimated to be about 1.55 million. And because Dang. of things like this, people aren't having babies, so Japan's population has been in a sharp decline since 2011. It's gotten so bad that Japan even produces videos of live-action women staring into the camera to help the hikikomori learn to cope with eye contact and reintegrate them back into society. So basically, if you want to know America's future, Look no further than Japan. A lot of people, including myself, blame this partially on the rise of social media and technology. R.I.P. to the king. Although technology makes things easier, it can also make us more atomized. Why go to the mall when I can just tap, 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 buy a new microphone and have it shipped to me in a day? Why? Ah, my hands old. Okay, so my issue, I love shopping for things, like going out and shopping things. First of all, I'm shaped weird. I'm, I'm not really shaped weird, but like I like trying things on because I'm very specific about comfort and, and the clothes that I wear. So I like going and trying things on, right? And like I like going, I, I don't live where there's one day shipping. I don't have one day shipping available to me. Okay, especially even on Amazon Prime, right? Which used to be like two days shipping. It takes me at least a week to get anything that I order. So like, it's so annoying, right? So the only way I can get something within a short time frame is to physically go buy it. Like to physically go buy it. And I'm fine with physically leaving my house and going and buying, cause you know, I gotta go to the grocery store anyway to buy shit. Like I. I'll just be like, I'll do all of my errands on one day. I very much prefer physically going and buying an item than ordering it online. But God freaking, ugh, it is so impossible to find shit in stores anymore. Like clothes aside, like it's hard to kind of find clothes, like a lot of clothes aside, okay? Finding physical items that I need is so difficult and so annoying. It is so annoying. Like, oh my God, I hate it. No, Ray's right, I got like, so I'm pear shaped. Um, I'm, I'm a little closer to hourglass than I was, but I have definitely more junk in the trunk than I do in the chest. <laughs> But like it's so oh, it's so annoying. I hate this. Like, can we just go back to having physical stores? Like, fuck Amazon, man. Anyway, hang out with friends when I can get all my social interaction I need from Twitter and streamers. Why go on dates and bother meeting women when I could just tap 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 Google big boob and get two million results, or see my high school crush's holes on OnlyFans for only five dollars? Damn. Instant dopamine, instant satisfaction, and hey, who even needs a real woman when you could just have an AI girlfriend? I will say that whole who needs to see your friends. I still try to do some stuff with my friends. 
But I also have meetings on a weekly basis where I go physically and see people. But like, also, um, I'm allergic to outside right now. It is nothing but pollen hell outside. Everything is yellow. Every time I open a door, I get a headache from pollen. And if I'm outside for any long periods of time, I have an allergic reaction. Like, I start having allergy problems. So, like, I don't want to go outside right now. Like, so, like, social things aside, I am fairly social. I do have to go out and do things. Like, you know, this internet interaction aside, I do have to physically leave my house and go meet people and like make connections and and stuff like that's part of my job right like so I have to do that but I don't want to <laughs> we're f***ed we're so f***ed dating apps really are the great satan and I'm convinced they've completely broken men's brains women on dating apps are picky women in general are picky and I mean naturally we are pickier you know we're the ones who carry the babies at least for now. But on dating apps, you have to admit, oh, it's please. a little insane. It's Artificial wombs, please. I say that as someone who is like, do you, childbirth is horrific. Just pregnancy is horrific. Like, all the things that happen to you during pregnancy is horrific. Like, oh my god. Anyway. Anyway. It's safe to say that the commodification of love and the window shopping of dating apps probably has to do a lot with the rise of lonely single men. Men are not just lonely when it comes to dating, they're lonely when it comes to friendship too. According to Vox, Americans are currently in a friendship recession and men are hmm. being hit the hardest. The percentage of men who reported having at least six close friendships fell in half. Since six the close friends? One in Wild. Five men say they have no close friendships. Looking at all these statistics, the explosion of figures mm. like Andrew Tate is not surprising at all. I believe being a man is a blessing because it starts so difficult. I believe that every man is born without any value at all. I think that the world's never going to think you're important unless you make yourself important. And recently, a new uh -huh. study came out about how young men are moving towards the right. And every other month, we, the liberal, sockdom, leftist, whatever you want to call the space online, performs the same song and dance. What's wrong with men? Why is this happening? Why don't we have a leftist Andrew Tate? We need to push men to the left. Andrew Tate rarely, if ever, talks about politics. Andrew Tate talks about men, and the left only talks about men when they talk about Andrew Tate. A few months ago, during one of the monthly song and dances, some progressive people I follow made the mistake of addressing men's issues, and the even bigger mistake of pointing mm. their finger at their own spaces. Sorry, I'm eating a croissant. <laughs> I probably so I can read those. The, re the reason young men flock to alt-right MRA movements is because what is it? Um, the left gives brain-dead advice to young men. We need to be more compassionate to them for our own sake. All right. We're not doing enough to address said men's issues. Recently, there were some statistics by healthcare company Cigna indicating that men are the loneliest generation and addressing it doesn't mean that you turn your back on issues pertaining to women but it does mean that we should be focused on what it is in society that is leading to this epidemic what the left can do to offer solutions and how we can basically fight back against the more nefarious figures who have filled the void uh, that, you know, men are struggling with, people like Jordan Peterson and what have you. Now, recently, uh, Vosh, who's a popular streamer, had tweeted this thread that I think is really, really important to address. He writes, I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand that 12-year-old white boys on Twitch are not being pulled into fascism because of some Machiavellian desire to preserve and expand their privileges. It's because the right talks to them and the left doesn't. The responses to these tweets in this mm. content were very normal, level-headed, and respectful. Me when I lie. <laughs> Mayo, cry about it. Boo f***ing who? Oh no, poor widow men having problems. Boo f***ing who? Grow the f*** up then. Have men considered <coughs> a starter? I'm in 
enjoying all these sad little moids and their sad little tweets about their sad, pathetic lives. Dang. Sounds like a personal problem. Dang. Is the lack of compassion for men in the room with us right now? Maybe oh men God. are just not good people then. I'm so f***ing tired of people trying to make male loneliness a huge societal problem. Yeah, no, their fifis are not my responsibility, and I shouldn't have to be punished because they can't get their shit together as human beings. Grow the f*** up. Why are we trying to win these entitled little predators over? The left isn't for them. That's why they go right in the first place. We're all lonely and alienated. It's young men going to the alt-right and- You shouldn't be alienating people. Just, that's my feelings. Um, you should be, you shouldn't be alienating, uh, alienating a large group of people. Um, that's not going to help you with literally anything. Personally, that's, that's my personal opinion. That's probably going to hurt you. At least not in this context. So they're basically being like, ah, uh, whatever, men, let them go to the right or whatever. You know, that's the left isn't for them. And I'm like... You need their votes, though. You need them to help you with um, changing the status quo, if that makes sense. That's that's a thing to consider. Droves. Maybe I'm not understanding. I don't know. The problem isn't our messaging. It's them. It's mm. literally not our problem. Men flock it's to gotta be. not because they're lonely, but because they're bigots. Hope this helps. Nah, it's just misogynists being louder than before and not getting laid. LOL. Cry harder, losers. 90% of all homicides recorded worldwide were committed by male perpetrators. Okay. We should just get rid of all males, to be honest. This includes trans women, as they still retain male violence. By the way, you know the Tumblr feminists who were like, all men are sexist and rapists, male tears, penises are evil, blah, 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 back in the day. Well, this is them now. Should have just let me cook back then. Listen up, <laughs> chuckle <laughs> Should have just let me cook. <laughs> oh I'm God. white, socially awkward, autistic, in my 40s, ugly, overweight, crippled, got a weird we building pattern and have bad skin. You know what I didn't do? Choose to become a fascist. Because I recognize most of the sort that look like me are the problem. I may be hideously ugly and pathetic, but at least I'm not a fascist. Thank you for your input, buddy. You're, uh, really helping the situation. The reason young men flock to alt-right MRA movements is because the left gives brain-dead advice to young men. We need to be more compassionate to them, for our own sake. I'm sorry, but how is respect women brain dead advice? What advice? Don't rape? Don't be a rapist is bad advice? Help, I have no friends or community. I feel suicidal. Um, have you considered not raping? Act like a decent fucking human being. It's not hard. Is brain dead advice? Brain dead advice like get consent and don't be a Nazi and women are people. Walking up to men struggling with loneliness and depression like kids. Don't be racist. Incredible. Here's my act. So the the takeaway from this, right, is that all these women are putting every single man in one box, right? And it's like that's not really the point here. Like, yeah, a lot of these articles were focusing on specifically male loneliness. Wh I'm not going to get into the argument about, like, male foci, focuses, whatever, in, in medias and stuff like that. The issue, right, is that with the bloom of technology, society hasn't figured itself the fuck out. You can say the same thing with how, like automation is going, right? Like we're losing jobs to automation. And eventually it's going to be, I think at least that there's going to be a point in time when we're not going to have jo enough jobs because we fit for the populace because we've automated as many things as we possibly fucking can. Right. So, you know, they're trying to automate like semi trucks, whatever, like transportation, not transportation, but transporting goods, right? Shipping. They're trying to automate that. What about all the truck drivers? What about the the barge captains? You know, what about the train conductors? If they 
you automate all of that, where are those people going to go? They have jobs currently. Eventually, they're not going to have jobs, right? Because we're actively trying to automate those things to get rid of the human popu- like part of it so that we can turn thousands of jobs into t- 10 jobs, which are just overseers or trackers or whatever, right? So, like, yeah. So, like, that's a thing, right? So, eventually, hopefully... We have to figure out, okay, what about, you know, these people that have been displaced? How are we going to help them? Ignoring the fact of the country that I live in and how that's going to go. But, like, our issue, what we're looking at is instead of it being a job situation, it is a loneliness situation. It is a societal, it is interacting with other human beings how you form relationships and friendships and and continue those things and how you interact with other people we have shifted from everything having to be in person face to face interaction to most things being let's take the person out of it let's do everything online let's not actually interact with other people face to face let's not actually talk to other people you fucking call Walgreens, CVS, it is a pain in the ass to actually talk to a human being because they're just automating everything, right? Like they're cutting back on the physical workers in the store and everything is being automated. Oh, you want to refill your prescription? Type in the number of your prescription. You don't have to talk to another human being, right? So in a social aspect, we're doing something kind of similar. So how do we combat? Because we're not used to it. Because we're in the early stages of that. So how do we combat loneliness in a world where a lot of these people grew up? You know, I grew up watching the internet happen. Like, I didn't have the internet as a child. I saw the internet become popular. I slowly got internet in my household. I've gone through the gamut of different types of internet. And now I'm here and I am constantly connected to the internet, right? Like, I constantly have a phone. I have a tablet. I have this computer that I'm working on right now. Like... I personally am totally fine with interacting with people on the internet as a way to be social. Like, um, I am 100% fine with that. Ray is not. So Ray the Stray has a hard time being, being social on the internet. Like, Ray has a much easier time being social in a face-to-face, we're all out together somewhere hanging out, whatever, aspect. And, like, that's the issue, right? Like, that we're seeing. It's this, like, it's this transition. And women are also seeing this transition. It's not just men. That is what we should be focusing on. So it's like, hey, you know, it's like that thing where it's like you don't see daylight for a long time and you might get depressed. Or, you know, there's seasonal depression, right? During winter, you get kind of depressed because it becomes like daylight hours are so much shorter and it's colder and it's it's darker for longer and you start getting kind of depression about that it's a similar thing where you're not being social and therefore you're probably starting to feel kind of lonely and sad and like that's that is the issue (laughs) not everyone can deal with just being like oh all of my social interaction is through a screen and I'm fine with that Some people need face-to-face. And so it's then a situation where, like, how do you, like, get that? I blame Discord. (laughs) I have a lot of feelings about Discord. People say Discord is the new social media. It's not. First of all, it's like a fucking chat room. Discord's like a chat room, except it's like a private club chat room. I don't fucking know. Like, you have to, like, you can't just, you can't just enter into Discord servers. Like, you have to have other forms of social media or posts about your Discord server to get people to find your Discord server and join it. I have so many feelings about this. But, like, some people don't like... I don't like Discord as, like, a social media whatever. I, it's, I, I don't like that. I don't post a whole lot on social media personally, like, about my life anyway. But, like, I don't like discord in that way so like but it's like how how do you find people with like similar interests right you also have like 
you know, are you interested in games? You could go to a game store and maybe hang out at the game store, but then are you able to, you know, find a welcoming group that will welcome you to play games with them? Or not, or are they going to be clicky and they don't want to talk to you? Like, you know? You guys know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I'm a little annoyed about this. <laughs> ...actual advice I would give to my teen boys as a leftist. One, always get enthusiastic consent. Two, save the planet. Three, don't say that. It's actually <laughs> kind of racist. <laughs> like, what the f*** is this? How does this address men and their issues? It doesn't. Why does their advice always seem to be... Become a liberal. Hey men, here's how to fix all your problems. Agree with me politically. Men flock to the MRA movement because they're the largest beneficiaries of MRA shit. Imagine saying women flock to women's rights activism because they're the biggest beneficiaries of women's rights. Like, no f***ing shit. Let's be honest. Aside from procreation purposes, men have become obsolete. Most women can find other methods of achieving orgasm without a man there. And speaking as a man, most of us are horrid to be around. And I don't blame any woman oh for just saying, no thanks. Oh my god, dude. This is what every Just Pearly Things tweet looks like to me. Just with the gender swapped. This is pathetic. You know what fixes male loneliness? Jerking off. As a man, I'll say this. Sit down, shut up, and beat one out. You'll feel better. I promise. Yeah, guys, just beat one out. Just off. Just watch. How do you guys make friends? A social thing called skip the small talk. Like, like. <laughs> I stand around until someone takes video of me. I <laughs> talk to someone. I mean, like, so I'm asking because, like, I'm in a weird situation where I meet a lot of people. Um, because I help run an anime convention, right? And I go to other anime conventions. On my other She One Head video, I guess there was, like, a comment or something about women who like anime and video games or something. I, I don't remember. It was a few weeks ago that I watched it. And, y'all know, I have the memory of, like, a goldfish. But there was, like, people in my comment section, like, oh, no, women that like anime and video games are so rare. And I'm like, um, are we? Look at all my shit. Like, <laughs> I run an anime convention. All my friends, like anime and video games like I interact with thousands of people on a weekend and they like you just walk around an anime convention man like 50% of the people there are women and they all like anime and there's a lot of them like I'm I'm so confused like there, I mean, there is a thing that maybe it's, like, you don't feel comfortable going to, like, an anime convention and making friends. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a little bit on the older side of the people at an anime convention. I feel. Like, I, I don't know. But, like, yeah, I probably wouldn't be super comfortable going up to all the Genshin kids and being like, Hello, kids. You're in your early 20s. Let's... Be friends and hang out. First of all, I can't relate to their problems. We already know this. I've already said this. I can't relate to your problems. I'm I'm in a different part of life than y'all. Like, <laughs> I I also can't deal with your uh with your drama. I'm I'm tired and I'm old and I don't care. But like <laughs> But like you can make friends specifically if you go to like an older like go to Dragon Con, right? Like, go to Dragon Con. That's for older people. You can make friends there. People at anime convention, weirdly enough, if you're not, like, weird or if they, like... I say that. I'm a weird person at an anime convention. But, like... Generally, you can find people willing to talk with you at an anime convention. Like, you might find some people that don't want to talk to you. But there will be people that just want... That if you're like, oh, man, I, I see you're wearing... I don't know. A Comey Can't Communicate shirt. I love that show. You know, who's your favorite character? Or, like, you know, don't go up there and, like, quiz them, but you can ask some, like, general, like, questions about the show or whatever, or be like, hey, have you seen this? I'm so excited. Something. You can have conversations with people, and you can meet people 
at conventions. I don't I don't know. And I feel like you could do it with other places. I will give that most people write you find friends within like your workplace. That's the issue, right? Is workplace friends. So like my friend Tem lives a little bit over an hour away from me. And he's like, I'm there's me and there's one other person my age at my job, and then everyone else is significantly older than me. They don't have any like of the same interests that I have because they're significantly older. And the one other person my age is drama, and I don't want anything to do with that. It's a headache. I don't want anything to do with it. So I don't really have work friends. But also, Tim would 100% be a hikikomori if given the chance ever. I'm pretty sure that's his life goal. Love that for him. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> Uh, I'm just saying, like, there, you have to kind of figure out where you can go to find people of similar interests than you, and then you have to be kind of outgoing, and that's hard. I get it. It is hard and terrifying sometimes, especially if you're an introvert. What's up with anxiety? What's up? Um, but, like, that's kind of what you have to do. Or you have to find, like, online spaces that have interests in you. It, like, this, not interest in you. Your same interest. But, again, that's my issue with Discord. Because Discord is so, like, it's not open for people to be able to easily find things. It's just, oh, my God. Meetup? Okay. Sure. I haven't heard of that, but also I'm not actively trying to meet people. But, like, sure, something like Meetup. Like, you have to kind of put in some effort. Like, it's not going to be handed down to you. Like, it's, yeah, it was super easy meeting people in, like, college and high school. Because, like, you have to. And then college is like, hey, go join these clubs. Look at all these clubs you can join. You know, you've got interest in... LARPing, there's a LARP club. You got interest in chess, there's a chess club. You got interest in engineering, go to the engineering club. It'll help you get jobs later. Like, anime, anime club. You like Japan, go to the Japan club. Like, there's... You, you like video games, go to the video game club. Like, like, I get it. But you have to kind of, like... I guess it's, like, hard. you, you got to try more when you're out of college, especially if you go to another place, right? You have to figure it out, and that's what's difficult. So just being like, hey, masturbate, that's not going to solve your problem if your problem is I need social interaction. Batman will be very disappointed in all of what's you. Wrong? It's so funny how men feel entitled to a girlfriend. No, you sexist freak. When one side is, like, wanting a girlfriend is sexist entitlement, and the other side is, like, Here's how to get a girlfriend. I don't- I don't know, bro. What happened to males just kicking the bucket? Now they just come on here and try to make their loneliness and misery into some social justice issue. Oh, what? trust me. Men are still kicking the bucket. I mean, they're not giving mind-blowing advice like just to be a liberal. They're outright dismissing men's issues completely. It's not our job to educate them. Since men created the problem, they need to take steps to fix it. We have other things oh to do. Oh my god. About. Men can figure out their own problems that they created. Again, it's not women's. I will give. It really does feel, specifically where I am right now and some of the, the situations I, as a woman, am facing, it does feel just overwhelming. Like sometimes I have overwhelming panic and anxiety about like some stuff that's going on, specifically in my state. Um, about women's health and rights and stuff and like so it's like hey I don't want to worry about the men right now I'm focused on me I'm focused on like what's happening that uh, directly affects me but if you think about it all of this affects you no matter what like so like I slightly understand that but that's not that's not a good excuse like it's not that's not a good have empathy for your fellow human being. Jesus Christ. Jobs to change how men are socialized. It's a man issue and y'all need to address that amongst yourselves. Men created their own problems. Men can solve their own problems. The left is busy. Why does the well-being of other people concern me? Leftist, by the way. It's all systemic issues and societal factors and blah, 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 until it's a man and then suddenly it's Pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. This problem is just a consequence of the patriarchy. Now take a wild guess about which gender created the patriarchy. 
solve your own problems, and leave women alone. These people rightly mock the bootstraps rhetoric until the subject is a man, and then it's bootstraps all the way down. They would never talk about any other group this way. It's wild. Did I, it's kind of like- Did I miss something? Why is it like, it's women's jobs to fix this? Did I, did I miss something? <laughs> like, I guess they're just like thinking, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like where, where was it? It's like, hey, women, save the men. Like, you know, where, where was that written? Other than the people complaining about it. Both sides are telling men to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. But one is like, I'll show you how. And the other is like, fuck off. And when they're not telling men to straight up fuck off. They're giving the 200 IQ answer that nobody has ever heard before. Just show your emotions, bro. And I'm not dismissing this problem, okay? I've, I've made videos talking about this. Oh, you're crying at your grandfather's funeral? Okay, f*** it. And studies have shown that men mm. are scared to be vulnerable, even around the homies. And can you blame them when the media says stupid f like this? Fel UK builders go woke, city friends, three quarters of tradesmen discuss their feelings with colleagues while two thirds shun the fried breakfast and what and nearly half say they, they are history buff what is the what is the title of this <laughs> what also uh normally it's talking about your feelings like it's okay i talk about my feelings here all the time and i know i'm a woman and so like i get like quote unquote a uh, pass because like oh you know women they're emotional first of all every single human being is emotional fuck off it's normal get therapy like it's normal. You can have feelings. It's normal to have feelings. You should be able to express those feelings no matter who you are. And I have had this argument argument that in some, in like a lot of workplaces, depending on where you work, it is, it doesn't matter what gender you are, you are looked down for having emotions and like women have to kind of... Thanks for the subscription. Appreciate you. Welcome to the destruction. Um, it is... Look down upon, like, women have to, like, internalize a lot of things. Specifically, like, anger emotions. Like, we have to internalize things. When the creepy old person is like, give me a smile, you're not smiling at me. What do you have to do? You have to just smile at them as you check out their medicine or their groceries or whatever they're buying in the retail job in which you're the cashier. Like, it's really frustrating. It's really annoying. I fucking hate it. It's happened to me multiple fucking times. Like, <laughs> so, like, in, a, in our workplace, we can't be angry because then it's like, oh, you're PMSing. Oh, you know, you need to, like, control yourself. I guess you're PMSing. And, like, but it's just, like, you know, normalize having a full range of fucking emotions because everyone has that. I, I just, everyone has emotions. Normalize them. It's fine. I, it is fine. It's healthy. You need to get that shit out of your body somehow. Like, damn, that's how our, our brains are wired very similarly. Like, Yes, there's, like, some, like, oh, women's brains are wired slightly different than men's and this thing. We all have a full range of fucking emotions unless there is something very wrong. Um, normalize people being able to express the full range of emotions. That That's my take on this. Let, let men be sad. Like, like, let them be sad. Like, fuck off with that. Like, I, th it upsets me a lot. Like, it upsets me. So let, let men be sad in public, you know, if you feel you can do that. I am always super embarrassed if I'm sad in public, I'm going to be honest. But, like, whatever, let's normalize being sad in public if we're sad. Like, yeah, it's frustrating. Anyway. Because is it woke to open up to your fellow men and discuss history? Men are socialized to believe strength, dominance, and stoicism are behaviors of a real man. Is it any surprise that men are lonely and have less friends nowadays? You have to be vulnerable to make friends. Don't tell me there aren't systemic problems affecting men. There are. A lot of this may be true. Men have been socialized this way for centuries. And this yeah. is relatively a new phenomenon. Toxic masculinity has existed forever. If anything, there's less toxic masculinity nowadays. The cultural embrace of like gender nonconformity, femboys, Harry Styles in a dress, 
Barbie movie, blah, 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 blah. My point is toxic masculinity did not just appear in the mid 2010s, but social media did and the internet did and the rise of dating apps did and the housing crisis and living in a country where the wealth inequality is worse than it was during the Gilded Age. That all happened recently. Oh my god, the yeah. privileged life these poor little boys must have that their biggest problem is mm. being lonely, i.e. so insufferable that nobody wants to sleep with them. So much more pressing than the poor distribution of wealth causing people to suffer food and housing insecurity. Boo-hoo, you're lonely and have no friends and are suicidal, when? Because feeling alienated under capitalism apparently isn't a thing. People are working harder and oh my god wages have been stagnant, men have been dropping out of college like flies, and what does that get you? Poor men. Which, since women are doing amazing in college now, and many are now out-earning men, this most of the time leads to single men, which then leads to lonely men, which leads to depressed men, which leads to the high suicide rate. In my opinion, yeah. leftism at a policy level does a great job addressing the shitty material conditions that in part lead to the problems that men are facing, but then absolutely drops the ball when it comes to everything and anything related to men's cultural issues. Many such cases. And why would a struggling man even want to move left when the left appears actively hostile to them? The question of whether or not the hashtag online left is enough to appeal to hashtag men has become the question du jour. And like, men have most of the money, authority, and do most of the murdering and assaulting. The average young man in America isn't Jeff Bezos. Also, why did this motherfucker just FBI crime statistics at me? Men do the most murder, okay? They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. They like that. They, they want it to stay that way, because it suits them. Because of the stuff, telling people they're special and deserve all the nice shit that they have, that's gonna be an easier sell 10 times out of 10 than like saying, hey, maybe you should have less stuff and other people should have more. Leftism is when you don't have a lot of stuff. We're gonna take your stuff. You sound like a 65 year old Fox News boomers idea of what the left is. Are you a what CIA the agent? The right is saying to men, you will own a house. You will have beautiful children with your loving wife. You will have privacy. You will have free speech. You will own things and you will be happy. And the left is like, they like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But don't get me wrong. Republicans will not do shit. The Republican party will not do shit. The establishment in general will not do shit. Yeah, the establishment but the is, right is gonna continue establishing. <laughs> men something other than nothing or the eternal HR department. Every time this discord comes up, there's people like, we need a leftist Andrew Tate. We need masculine role models on the left. But the fact is it's hard for progressives to organically appeal to men because a large part of progressivism is oppressive hierarchies and men are oppressors. Making progressivism look appealing to young men is an uphill battle from the start. And although it's funny to laugh at insane people on Twitter, as always, there've been a lot of left-wing content creators talking about men's issues. If you would have told me this would be a thing nine years ago, I would not believe you because anyone talking about men's issues back in the day was called an MRA or a pick me. But lately I have pick seen a me. lot of good pro men lefty content and I'll put some links to some below. I don't agree with all the points they say, but I recommend watching. It's much better than they like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But the issue is a lot of this lefty pro men content, it's always framed around how do we get them? As if men are just pawns and tools for your personal politics. How do we make the left more appealing to men? How do we stop lonely men from moving to Andrew Tate? Instead of just, how do we help men? And I think that's a really big issue. Both sides seem to treat men as political fodder. Disposable soldiers in the culture war and real war. Anyway, misandry is real. Oh good, finally. And while it doesn't systemically affect cis men, it most certainly affects trans men. Oh. Y'all talking about misandry doesn't harm men, and trans men are right there reading this shit, by the way. Oh my god. See, now we only care about misandry because it affects trans men. Everyone stop. It's affecting a group I care about now. I love how the rhetoric just like evolved overnight from male tears to cis male tears. And I just have to ask, why aren't you including trans men in your misandry, hmm? Nobody told me how lonely being a man is we knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned we knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us and to have people want to talk to us and to have a community and then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you and friendships are so much harder to build what's hard is none of this invalidates 
how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about c cis white men. All of that's valid. But I also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. Welcome to being a man. Here's your complimentary isolation and yellow pillow. I love how even when he's experiencing the issues of being a man, he's like, this doesn't invalidate people hating men. Come on, bro. Men struggling don't want to be lectured about the patriarchy. They don't want to be told it's all their fault. They don't want to be told they're part of the problem because first of all, they're not. The average 20 year old didn't build society. They go to work, come home, f off to sissy hypno fetish porn and go to bed like everyone else. I've talked about this before, but a lot of men's value comes from the money they make, unfortunately. Men are natural providers, and if they have nobody to provide for, they get into findom or send random girls on the internet money. I'm just kidding, but the fact is, a lot of men <laughs> simply feel like they don't have a purpose anymore. Whether a job or a career that's fulfilling and pays well, or a woman or family to protect and take care of and provide for, men are lacking purpose. And a so, <laughs> time to promote pages. Oh, let me tell you, I'm opening a page. No, I'm kidding, I'm not. Um, at least not yet. <laughs> anyway, um, I mean, that's like, I started making jokes about Patreon. I don't remember what I was going to say. This is a societal problem, right? Like I mentioned earlier, this is not just men. Women are also affected by this new, like, social shift. Um, <laughs> social shift. And it is a problem, right? Like, it's a problem. I'm, I'm, it is. We have to figure out, like, hey, how do we survive in this new... Cheer 100, what a reductive position to take. Men just giving money to women online. SMH. Uh, on a completely separate note about that, thanks for the bits. <laughs> um, anyway, so like, I feel like this is gonna be. Cheer 100, who would give money to women online? God, who would give money to just random women on the internet? That's, that's wild. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. <laughs> I beat you to the joke. <laughs> you did beat him to the joke. Cheer 100 weirdo simps. That's who. All right, all right, all right. Stop, stop. Um. <laughs> um. So I feel like this is gonna be a thing that maybe younger generations won't have as hard a time with, right? Because I feel younger generations are going to grow up within this space of just being perpetually online, connected to the internet, etc. They're going to know how to navigate, you know, social spaces in this Here, uh, way. Let me get this for you. Thank you for the gifted sub. You you don't have to start the hype train. It's okay. Uh, anyway, so like I I feel like maybe younger generations it won't be as hard for them socially because they'll be used to the shift, right? Like we're just we're constantly increasing the type of social apps and online social things that we have how we're social online etc so i really feel like um yeah the ipad generation is gonna i'm not i'm not saying they're gonna save us i'm just gonna say maybe they will feel less lonely within this space right because i feel like it's this transitionary generation that is having the hardest time maybe i could be wrong um like like literally i <laughs> Cheer one comrade is not not YouTube is R2. It's R2. <laughs> um, so, like, I don't know. I could be wrong. Like, maybe the study is about, you know, Gen Z and not millennials or it's Gen X, whoever. I don't know. Alpha? I don't know what the generations are. Maybe it's the iPad generation kids. <laughs> I, I don't know. But, like... I feel like a lot of this just has to do with technology increasing in such a way and in such a very quick amount of time that we're just not sure how to interact with one another in this kind of new social space. And that is the problem. And you guys have got me so sidetracked with all your jokes. <laughs> that I feel like I was going to say more stuff and now I don't remember what it was. So I'm just going to unpause. <laughs> 
broken glass for a purpose. Oh, that's it. Okay, so, like, also, at least where I personally am, right, there's, in regards to, like, families, yeah, pat, pat, pat. I... <laughs> Thank you for head pads. Um, I don't really know a whole lot of people that want to have children who feel secure enough to have children. And when I say secure enough, I mean stuff in regards to like, you know, we're in a housing crisis. Do they feel like they're going to be able to have a home for their child? Right. Do they feel like, you know, are they going to be able to afford to have children? It's like thirty thousand dollars, 15 to thirty thousand dollars just from like pregnancy childbirth that kind of time and then you have to take in consideration like you know are you both going to be working or are you going to have child care child care is expensive like it is so expensive and like you know food during the pandemic we had ongoing formula shortages that lasted for years they might be lasting right now and i just haven't heard about them but like there was like no, there wasn't enough baby formula for years and people were panicking about it. Like, what do I do? Like, because not everyone can breastfeed. Like, there's some situations where some people can't breastfeed. So, like, and then it's like, hey, uh, you know, I as a woman, what if I get pregnant and something goes wrong? And my life is at stake or or something. Basically, it's like, hey, I guess I just die if I'm in certain states like I guess I just have to die and then it's like or I have to like leave the country or leave my state to go to another state to get life-saving health care and then my state is trying to pass all these laws that would punish me and make me a felon if I go to another state to get life-saving medical care that may or may not be an abortion at the end of the day because some of like the pregnancy things like hey guess what your fetus died in you and you're going to get sepsis, but we're legally not allowed to remove it from your body, which means it's going to rot in your body. It's going to get infected. You're going to die of sepsis. And if you if you get an abortion somewhere, you're now a felon. You're going to you're going to jail. Because you didn't just die. Because your baby died from no fault of your own. Because sometimes that just fucking happens. Like, it's just sometimes randomly you just have a miscarriage for no fucking reason. Or the baby inside you dies. It's a thing. It happens. And like, so like, yeah, I'm going to get abortion arguments in the YouTube comment section. It is what it is. But like, that is, I'm going to be honest fucking terrifying so like people don't want to have kids right now because they're scared about it db no <laughs> um i'm just gonna delete that one <laughs> it's too late but i'm gonna do it <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, so, like, yeah, email, um, just in case, um, but that's the thing, it's scary, so, like, people don't feel secure having children right now, which means, are you worried, are you feeling pressure to have kids if you feel terrified of the fact that of all the things that could go wrong, that could just absolutely screw you in some way that's not that you can't come back from because at least where i live like people get married kind of young and start families kind of young like because of you know where i live and there's less of a drive for that right now because people are scared specifically women are like scared so we have some societal issues that are making this worse. Like, it's just, that's making this thing that we're currently talking to about, which is male loneliness or just loneliness in general, it's making it worse. It's just, uh, it's just a lot. But you know who does make them feel like they have a purpose? <laughs>
No, 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 not him. I say that life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. The absolute audacity to act shocked that Andrew Tate is scooping these guys up after a decade of lol male tears is insane. Andrew Tate isn't the solution to men's problems, but he is talking to them. The fact is you did not care about them for years, and even now you just want to recruit them, not help them. And that's why you will fail. And hey, maybe I'll be the Andrew Tate of the left. Men, listen up. Wash your penis. So I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. <laughs> why do you think male loneliness has do been though. increasing? What are your solutions for this problem? And are you dealing with loneliness? And I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye. I am not dealing with loneliness, personally. I don't know, sometimes I feel lonely. And then I send like an inappropriate meme to Abby. <laughs> Wash me holes. <laughs> it is never not funny. <laughs> cheer one 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 I'm 25 I don't think I will make a family until I get 30 or more yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna say every single cheer. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs>